In this video, we are going to be talking about when you should start feeding your raw fed puppy like a raw fed adult. Let's get started. Welcome back to Raw Feeding 101, everybody. And if this is your first time here, make sure that you click that subscribe button and then click the bell to turn on all notifications so that you don't miss out on future raw feeding videos. Now, some of you guys may know me. Some of you guys may be coming across the channel for the first time. If you don't know me, I've been raw feeding for about 11 years, uh, run the Raw Feeding 101 business, which is all about helping people with DIY raw, run the Raw Feeding 101 Facebook group that right now is at like 60,000 members. So of course this YouTube channel and between all these different things, I hear these questions all the time. When should I start feeding my puppy like an adult? And there's a lot of misconceptions around that and probably the biggest one that I really wanna focus on in this video is there's this old school way of thinking and I'm guilty of it as well. When I put out the Raw Feeding 101 book, the original one back in 2018, I still felt this way, but I have learned so much over the last three years with getting away from ratio diet feeding and this big, big misconception is that once your puppy turns one year old, then you can start feeding them like an adult dog, which is just not the case. It may be the case in some cases, but it's simply not in all cases. Now, when you should start feeding your raw fed puppy like a raw fed adult is when they mature. And that's going to be different for every breed. If we're talking about, <clears throat> and there's gonna be all kinds of variances on these numbers depending on where you look, but they're all gonna be fairly general. If you're looking at a French Bulldog, they're gonna be fully grown, matured, somewhere between like nine months and a year. So in that case, that would work out. But what if you have a German Shepherd that typically matures around 18 months to 24 months? Uh, what if you have a Great Dane that a lot of them can continue growing after two years old and you do not want to be feeding that puppy, that Great Dane puppy in the middle of their major growth cycle like an adult dog when their needs are vastly different. The needs for puppies and the needs for adults are very, very different. So here's what I want you to do. Number one, first off and foremost, make sure your puppy is on a balanced diet. And when I say balanced, I mean some kind of diet that meets an actual nutritional standard. This could be AFCO, this could be NRC, this could be FIDF or FIDF, depending on how you wanna say it over in Europe, the UK, those kinds of areas. Make sure they are balanced, whether this is through a pre-made company of some kind that states that they are balanced to something like AFCO, or getting help from someone like myself helping you with DIY meal plans to make sure you're on AFCO or NRC. So that's number one, making sure they're being fed a balanced diet. When you should switch them over to an adult dog, again, completely depends on your breed. So I want you to do some research on when your breed typically matures. Now, what if you have a mixed breed dog? Now, if you have a mixed breed dog, this can be a little more difficult, okay? And what you're going to really have to do is one of two things. If you know what the mixes are, like if your puppy is the result of a German Shepherd and a boxer having a litter of puppies, right? You can compare the average maturity age for those two breeds to kind of come to a rough number of when you should expect your puppy to start reaching their adulthood and maturing, okay? And if you have no idea, or you've done something like an Embark DNA test and there's like 30 million <laughs> different breeds inside your dog, this is what I want you to do. And this also applies to the purebred dogs because yes, there's averages and standards like 18 to 24 months for German Shepherds, nine to 12 months for French Bulldogs, but every dog is an individual. So what I would recommend that you do, whether it's a purebred dog, a two breeds mixed dog or you know a mutt situation where it's a million different things that are in there what you should start doing is at that average age you should start really really paying attention in my opinion you should always be paying attention to how much your dog weighs and consistently weighing them at least once a week um, but really start paying attention to that growth if it has been three weeks four weeks and they haven't gained any weight really start watching closely. Don't switch them yet, but start watching really closely. 
if you get to that sixth, seventh week, they still haven't gained any additional weight and they're around that age that your breed or mixed breed would typically mature, now is probably a good time to consider switching your puppy over to an adult method of feeding. So to summarize here, make sure that you are on a balanced diet. Number one, either through a pre-made or someone like myself or over on rawfeeding101.com that can help you do that on your own DIY style. Start looking up your breed or breed mixes average maturity age to see when you should start really paying attention to when that growth stops. And when they reach that age, make sure that you are weighing them consistently. I wouldn't go any longer than a week. If you absolutely can't do it that often, no more than two weeks. And once they reach that sixth or seventh week and there's been no weight gain and they are at that age where you should expect them to be reaching maturity, now it's time to switch them over to an adult style of feeding. And if you ever need help with DIY raw, make sure to head over to rawfeeding101.com. We've got DIY meal plan services, boot camp programs where we can teach you how to make balanced meals at home, free guides, and so much more. And make sure to come and join us over in the Raw Feeding 101 Learn to Feed Raw Facebook group, where we've got 60,000 plus people waiting to help you answer your questions. And it's completely free. You can find both of those things in the description box below. So until next time, go give your puppies and your kitties and your dogs and your cats and your other awesome pets some love from me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.